you've probably seen me eating a lot of snacks and fast food in my reviews, and the reason for that is I can't cook, like, at all. Sure, if it comes prepackaged and has easy-to-follow instructions, and the only thing I really have to use is a microwave and a can opener, I can generally avoid burning the house down, but otherwise it's probably best if I order out. And since I can't cook, I like to watch TV shows about people who can. Shows like... Uh, Top Chef or Iron Chef, the Japanese one, not that shitty American version with that fucking asshat Bobby Flay. And of course, anything involving TV's most foul-mouthed chef, Gordon Ramsay, host of such shows as Gordon Ramsay's The F Word, Kitchen Nightmares, and of course, Hell's Kitchen. Actually, none of the people on his shows can cook either, which probably explains why he's so angry all the time. I was wondering what the f*** you're doing. Yeah, you can f*** yourself. Looks like baby vomit. It looks like regurgitated dog f Who the f*** are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? You yeah. French pig! Thanks for shafting me on the mashed potatoes, and thanks for being a on the appetizers. You run a f*** all of the kitchen, yourself. Donkey! Hey, donkey, let me tell you something, you're here. You can't cook! You're standing there, you're screwing me, and you're f***ing useless. I also like to play video games that involve cooking, but the only game I can think of off the top of my head is Burger Time, and that game's actually pretty good. <laughs> Chef Ramsay! Some f***ing critic you turned out to be, eh? Yeah, but I, but I was just... No f***ing cooking games! What is this, a f***ing joke? WAKE UP! What the hell are you talking about? Do you want to play f***ing Burger Time, or do you want to play my f***ing game? Hell's Kitchen, the game! Hell's Kitchen The Game is a $20 budget title, and it's developed by Ubisoft, which is a pretty heavy name in the gaming industry. Well, they made Assassin's Creed, Rayman, Prince of Persia, Beyond Good, and holy shit! Oh my god! Who the fuck is that supposed to be? It looks like you only waxy and deflated and weird. It looks like me if I were 30 pounds overweight and made of fuck. Play-Doh! Yeah, you know, speaking of, you look a lot different on TV, Chef. But you shut the fuck up, you donkey! Are we ready? To begin with, the game has basically nothing to do with the television show in that there's no competition between a red team and a blue team, and there aren't any special challenges. It's just essentially one minigame coded in Flash that you have to play about 30 times, and every time you play it, it kind of gradually increases in difficulty. You have to run both the front of the restaurant and the kitchen. And apparently, there's only one person working the front who serves as maitre d', waiter, and busboy. You have to seat the customers, take their order, bring their food, and when they're done, clear the table. Sounds thrilling, right? Oh, and by the way, he really doesn't look anything like Jean-Philippe from the show, does he? Well this part of the game is actually insultingly easy, since the game allows you to queue up actions and the waiter is smart enough not to do insanely stupid things. Where you get hung up is in the kitchen, because tickets will stack up fast, and you can only work on one table's order at a time. Do you know what's really creeping me out is the way I'm standing up there in the corner, taking up like a quarter of the f***ing screen and not doing anything. It's like there's all this wasted space, it's like I've been banished to the f***ing negative zone or something. Yeah, you probably noticed ugly CG Chef Ramsay taking up a ton of space in the corner. All he does is he just glowers at you with his arms crossed, and periodically he says the same three or four tired lines whenever you finish an order like, Good job, or I'm a proud man. I'm a very proud man. Excellent. Very interesting so far. Excellent. Very interesting so far. Are we ready? I'm a very proud man. But the problem is, he doesn't scream and curse at you like he does on TV, even when you do really, really badly. I need you to really, seriously, up your game. Try a little bit harder. The game is so easy, I don't think you'll ever fail at a dinner service, and probably you won't even make him all that mad. I actually had to intentionally fail an entire dinner service before I could even hear him raise his voice, and even then all he said was, MOVE YOUR ass! <laughs> MOVE YOUR <laughs> DON'T EVEN TOUCH ANOTHER THING IN THIS KITCHEN! Well, that is not how you make a risotto, you stupid cow! <laughs> I don't know, it's just so weird watching Chef Ramsay act so lifeless and unenthused. It's like watching Al Pacino not chew scenery. It's just alien. You'll spend most of the game in the kitchen where you prepare the dishes. Each dish is composed of a combination of two to four ingredients, and each dish requires a specific amount of time to cook. The trick is timing it so that all of the dishes finish simultaneously, because the quality of the entire order plummets to one star in about eight seconds, so there's almost no room for error and you have to serve it all at the same time. Even so, there's really not much penalty for failing one of the dishes, and it's pretty easy to figure out the routine. All you need to do is make sure that two dishes aren't waiting for the same ingredient at once, since you can only have one of each ingredient prepared at a time. 
Well, he's doing his best in there, but unfortunately, this game is just crap. It's shit. I mean, who would want to spend $25 on a game that would be laughed off of Xbox Live? Nobody. That's who. You'd rather spend your money on a bunch of fucking plastic dolls. Nearly a decade ago, man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a massive cooking arena. And to realize his dream of finding the world's greatest cuisine, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named these men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Like Iron Chef USA, Duke Nukem, uh, Iron Chef Cimmeria, Conan the Barbarian, and uh, Iron Chef Judea, Jesus Christ, and uh, Iron Chef San Dimas, Neo. Ah. Oh. Oh. Fuck. I was actually pretty surprised to learn that you can never serve undercooked food in Hell's Kitchen, because one of the most common mistakes Very in the show is that the so chefs far. tried to serve undercooked food to get the orders out quicker and to save themselves some time. Well, we're underway. Chairman Giant Dizzy Gillespie has blown the horn of honor, and our Iron Chefs are pairing off into their respective teams and going off to their sides of Kitchen Stadium to start this battle. But first, let's introduce our celebrity judges for tonight's battle, starting with, um... Now we're kind of running out of dolls here. Uh, Mr. Bill! Hello, folks! We're looking forward to a really great show tonight with some really awesome food! And uh, our next judge is <laughs> uh, Captain Piet. Oh no, he's going to be mean to me. No, he's not. Captain Piet's here for the food just like everyone else. Isn't that right, Captain Piet? Yes, good. Uh, first catch of the day. I'm actually not sure Captain Piet says that in The Empire Strikes Back, but let's just move on. Our third judge is <laughs> uh, Boston Red Sox closer Jonathan Papelbon. Uh, moving on. Um, I understand there seems to be some kind of confusion going on on the floor of Kitchen Stadium. Fuki-san? Yes, uh, w what's going on, Ota? Well, it seems that there's been some kind of robbery in the pantry. You see, Iron Chef Duke Nukem was going down to get some tortilla chips to make some nachos, but it seems like they're all gone, huh? Well, let's go down to the security cameras and see what's happening down in the pantry. <laughs> There's really not that much else to say. It's just one game you have to play about 30 times. The only difference is that the game gradually adds more ingredients, more courses to serve, and more Let's customers. Yes. The game tries to introduce more customer types, and it makes a point to describe their habits to you like, some customers take longer to read menus, or some customers are willing to wait longer to be seated before getting angry. But it's not like you care enough to remember that, and you're not going to pay attention to what all the customers look like anyway. All you're trying to do is fill out orders as quickly as possible. And what's weird is the customers always look the same. It's weird, just look at them, it's like they're clones or something. No matter how many different types of customers the game introduces you to, it always seems like the restaurant only fills up with one type. Okay, we're going back down to the kitchen to see what's going on. Oh no, it looks like Cobra Commander is leading an elite Cobra unit to steal all the food out of the pantry. Come on, you pussy. Let's see if we can get that food back. But it's Cobra Commander, and he's going to be mean to me. <laughs> oh, no! Bid farewell to your tortilla chips, Duke. <laughs> Wrong Duke, asshole. Whatever. Goodbye, Duke. <laughs> but what are we going to do now? Almost all the food is gone. Nobody steals our chips and lives. <sighs> But Fuki-san, all that's left in the pantry is a loaf of Wonder Bread and a bottle of water. What are we going to do with that? Hmm? Let me handle this, my son. Oh. You know, at first I didn't really hate this game, and it's not badly executed. It's boring, but it's not horrible. But think about this in terms of sheer dollar value. Hell's Kitchen the game is 20 bucks for one, exactly one Flash minigame. It comes with a few Gordon Ramsay recipes, but if that's all you wanted, you could just buy a book. 
It's outdone in basically every other way by budget titles like Diner Dash, and in some ways, it's worse than even Dirty Dancing the game. Sure, Dirty Dancing sucked, but I paid about three bucks for it, and that had about ten different minigames instead of just one. That's like ten times the crap for a tenth of the price. You just can't beat that bargain. And that's it. Chairman Giant Dizzy Gillespie has blown the horn of finality, and now it's time for tasting and judgment. And this is unbelievable. Iron Chef Jesus has prepared several meals consisting of, wait, there's enough loaves of bread, fish, and wine for everybody. And we thought it was all stolen. Jesus, how did you pull it off? I'm Jesus, lol. <laughs> well, well, let's see what uh, Iron Chef Neo has to uh, give us. I'm not sure he quite has the same power as Iron Chef Jesus, but uh, let's see. His first dish is my own private Idaho potato soup served in a Circle K Thirst Buster cup. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, you're going to have to drink it out of a straw because, sadly, there is no spoon. Well, <laughs> that's very interesting. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. uh, look, uh, Chef, that's nothing against you. I'm just taking a break. I mean... You have to admit, your game is a little bit boring and repetitive. And That's I... it! I'm shutting it down! I'm just trying to... I've had enough! Oh, why would anyone do that? They get bite out of them. A whole pepper like that. I should have never done that. I was trying so hard not to chunk it right now. I let that kind of swirl around in my mouth, too. I should have just spit it out, but I tried to... Oh. I hate peppers. <laughs> 